For almost 30 years, Elton John and Bernie Toppin's works have topped charts and touched hearts, earning them a place among the greatest songwriters. Elton's first single, I've Been Loving You, released on March 1, 1967, set the tone for John and Toppin's collaboration, which produced some of the most well-known rock and rolls and ballads. From the lively and exciting Saturday Night's All Right, I'm Still Standing, I Don't Want to Go On With You Like That, to the sensitive Rocket Man, Candle in the Wind, Sacrifice. There is hardly any song of Elton's that does not melodically fit Bernie Toppin's lyrics. Being mostly a rock and roll musician, singer and performer, Elton widely uses blues melodies, often having to resort to some country, jazz, disco and even reggae motives. The reason for his charming capacity probably lies in Elton's brilliant knowledge of the classical works as well as the perfect techniques he was taught in his childhood. And no matter what trend dominates in this or that song of the duet, their compositions sound natural and sincere, bringing light and hope into people's lives. The British music scene is extremely varied. There are a lot of different types of music and groups that you can enjoy. If you want to, you can go to a techno club at a local club on Friday, a classical concert on Saturday, and see a reggae band live on stage on Sunday. Pop music in Britain has been influenced by music all over the world, some like reggae, which comes from Jamaica. Others enjoy dancing and listening to black American rap. Some music is a mixture of styles. For example, raga brings together rap and reggae. It is difficult for groups in Britain to have lots of fans because there are so many different types of music today. There are much more types that are mentioned above. Chart, hardcore, heavy metal, hip-hop, jungle, pop, rap, rave, acid, indie, soul, etc. Bands do not last long and very few groups stay in the top 20 at list of the best-selling records for more than one or two weeks.